you are new here, my name is Melissa. I post videos every Monday and sometimes I post, I guess I, I can't even say it's because I didn't post videos the last two Mondays. All right, if you guys are already a subscriber, I do apologize that there were no uploads the past two Mondays. I had multiple technical difficulties, but they are now resolved and we are back to regular posting schedule. If you are new here, I do post on Mondays and sometimes I post a second video on another random day. So make sure you're subscribed. Today's video is going to be my apartment tour and this is the first time I've lived in an apartment on my own. If you guys wanna see where I was living before, I will put links to my old apartment tour and my old room tour in the description box. But I moved here about three months ago and it's pretty much all together. I did hold off on doing certain things because I don't think I'm gonna be living here for very long. So I didn't really do anything with the entranceway and I kind of want to redo my bedroom, but I think I'm gonna wait. If you guys watch my vlogs and stuff, you know that I bought an apartment back in the suburbs. I live downtown Vancouver now. But I bought an apartment, it's not ready until November, so I signed a one-year lease for this apartment. This is where I'm staying until the apartment I bought is ready. So I might only be here until November, but I might sign on for another year, who knows? I think that is all I have to say for the intro, so let's just jump right into the tour. Okay, so we're starting in the entranceway, and this was one area that I decided not to do anything with. Originally, I was going to put some furniture and decorations and stuff behind, like, the area behind the store. Realistically, I just don't think I would use it very much, and then when the bathroom door is open, it gets blocked off anyways. But that is the front door there, and then I just keep two pairs of shoes here. I wear these every day. So flipping around, this is what you see when you walk in. And I'll start off with the bathroom. It's pretty standard, so not too much to say about this. That mat there is from Ikea. And then we've got the standard bath shower combo, a toilet of course, and it has a really big mirror which I can appreciate as well as great lighting which is a huge bonus so great for taking selfies in here. <laughs> here we have the sink area, we've got some Kiehl's grapefruit soap, I keep q-tips and cotton rounds in these old Bath and Body Works candles jars. Uh, those are really handy when you clean them out. You can just use them for storage of things. This plant back here used to be really tall and pretty. It's really seen the end of its day right now, but uh, it's pretty sad. <laughs> and then I've just got this artwork up here from Ikea, and that is pretty much the bathroom. Super exciting stuff. And then flipping around again, this is the hallway that leads into the main area. Right over here is my washer and dryer, which is super handy to have. Washer, dryer and then I keep all my cleaning supplies up there. So that's what is behind that door, and then these two here open up into my hallway closet. So I keep all my jackets in here, all my shoes are down there, and then up here I keep scarves, hats, and belts and stuff. And then there's one more door over here. I'm not gonna really go into detail of this room. It's basically a walk-in closet slash storage room. I don't have a storage locker or anything, so everything I own is in this apartment. So this room is just super handy to keep. Lots of things. <laughs> so all my makeup and stuff is in there. My perfumes are on top. I got these boxes from Ikea and I just store stuff on there on this storage shelf that I got at Canadian Tire. You guys have seen this before. It's from my old bedroom and I just keep pajamas and underwear and stuff in there. Sunglasses and jewelry are on top. And that is that room. Going back to the bathroom for a second because I totally forgot. This is where I keep all my everyday makeup, the stuff that I grab all the time. Underneath the sink is kind of a mess, but I have like skincare, hair care, makeup brushes and stuff. Moving on into the main area. So on the left here we have the kitchen. We've got the fridge and freezer. This is the dishwasher in here. Sink, stove, oven, all of that good stuff. So on top of my counter, I have this really cute baby blue toaster that I ordered on londondrugs.com. Uh, I originally wanted to get one of those retro ones that you can get from like Urban Outfitters and stuff, but it was like $400 or something crazy. Uh, so I think I got this for like $60 or something. I'm just throwing out numbers, but I think it's really cute. And then over here, we have my kettle that I use every day. I got that from HomeSense. Uh, this cutting board is also from HomeSense, and I just use it all the time, so I keep it out on the counter. I've got a thing of trail mix here. These granola bars I just picked up from Costco, and they're pretty good, so these are just some little snacks that I keep out here. And I'll just show you guys the kitchen from the other side, so you can kind of get a better idea. Over here we have my bar cart that I got at Ikea. My bar cart only consists of a few things, but I have this Yaletown gin that I got at an event. This is a whiskey that I got from Much Music, and Colby got me this almond milk Baileys for Christmas. This is just like a little pineapple shaker thing, and then this is 
another little shaker thing, my French press that I use every day, and then I just keep my coffee in this jar back here. Down here we have some homemade wine, and I actually have a vlog of us making that wine. And then I keep my wine glasses, and there is this thing down here that I haven't really used for anything. So there we have my kitchen and my bar cart. I just have my garbage there because there's not enough room under the sink to keep a garbage. This is like my little dining room area. I got that round mirror at Ikea, and this table is from Structube. It did come with matching bar chairs, but they weren't available till like April or something, so I found these guys at HomeSense, and I think they are a pretty good match, and they were on sale, so I got them for a really good deal. And then we have my TV here, and Tika's kennel. She doesn't go in here very often, but she actually really likes being in her kennel, which is kind of funny. I got this one from Amazon recently because her old one was pretty ugly. So I upgraded to this more aesthetically pleasing kennel. And then this little bin up here just has all of her like food, toys, treats, leash, poo bags, all of that. And then my Apple TV is just sitting in there because these wires don't really reach to anything. Are you going to go into bedtime? And then this door goes to my patio, but I'm not going to go out there right now. And then over here is my living room, which I think turned out pretty well. I had to buy all new furniture for this area. So the windows have this decently large ledge, which is really nice. I just put these little white lights around it. I bought those for my Christmas tree, and then after we took it down, I just thought I would put the lights up along there. All of these green plants are just fake ones from random places. My sister got me this diffuser for Christmas, and I use it all the time. I have all of my oils over here. This plant in the corner my mom got me for Christmas and I think it looks really good in this space. I also just have a few more little fake plants. And then this print over here that says find your happy place. That was in my bedroom in my old room up on the wall so I just stuck that there. This couch I am obsessed with. It is so comfy and it's just a great shade of gray that I feel like could go well in any room. This is from Urban Barn and it is called... And then I just found these throw pillows at HomeSense, and I think that blanket is also from HomeSense. Oh, this lamp over here, surprise, surprise, also from HomeSense. You can find some really good deals there. I think it's like the Canadian version of Home Goods, if you guys are not from Canada. And then I found these prints on a random Swedish website. I'll try to link everything down below if I can find links to things. But the frames are just from Ikea. And then the prints inside, this is a eucalyptus sleeve. This one says breathe, and this one is just a forest, like a foggy forest. This rug here is from my old place. It's from Costco. And then the coffee table I ordered off of Target. These flowers are real. They're from my boyfriend. And then I just have a candle, a spray, and my planner down there. So here's just a little overview of like the main space. Tika. You're such a geek. Anyways, that is my living room. Oh, and then beside my couch here, I got this basket at Target and I just use it for extra blankets. Moving on to the last space in this tour, this is my bedroom. And I think that this apartment is called a junior suite because it's kind of like a studio, but you can close off the bedroom with these sliding doors, which are actually pretty neat. You can write on them with dry erase markers. So I usually put like a to-do list up here. But yeah, you can just like slide these. And close off the room which honestly I never really pull these out at all stepping into my bedroom all of my bedding is from my old room so if you guys watch my old apartment tour or no my old room tour you guys will see all of this and I think I'm wanting to switch this up but I think I'm gonna wait until I move into my other place your toys down there all right yeah, the frame down there I got from Costco and it was the easiest thing to assemble you basically just like stick these slats in like these other two pieces of wood and I like it because there's no headboard and it's low to the ground so it just like raises your mattress up a little bit and I like the look of that but I'm wanting to get a king comforter this is a queen bed so that the blanket like cascades down and touches the ground more of like a lofty kind of look if you know what I'm saying and I think when I redo my bedding I want to do like a blush tone instead of this gray blue color is like the accent color. Over here is my side table and this matched my last bed frame so this is a little bit too high but it works. On top of it I just have a little fake flower, my Himalayan salt lamp, um, that's a candle from, what's it called, sage? I think it's sage. And then this lamp is just like a crystal base white shade lamp from HomeSense. Over here, 
I have this little ottoman type thing which is really good for random storage. And then this bag I got from a Kiehl's trip that I went on and I basically just throw clothes in there that need to be put away but it kind of just organizes the mess nicely. And then I have a little fluffy mat. You guys will probably remember this mirror from my last bedroom. I got this from, I never want to say the name of the store because people say it's pronounced in so many different ways. J-Y-S-K, Yisk, Jisk, Jisk, I don't even know. And then the little lights around it are from a random online store, but you can find these lights everywhere and it's just connected to a little battery pack. And then this is my closet, so on the top I just fold up my pants and some chunky sweaters. I tried to color coordinate my closet as best as I could, so I keep all of my neutrals on the side because this side's usually open and it just looks better and more streamlined. Down there I just have some more storage for shoes, and then I'm not gonna go on that side, oh, actually let's just do it. This side is kind of a mess, but some more pants, crop tops, shirts, and then these are like my colors. I'm wanting to get another one of these shelving units to organize the rest of the clothes down there. But it's a pretty decent sized closet, which is really nice. All right, I think that wraps up the tour. I'm just gonna push this back. So that is where I'm currently living, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, follow Tika on Instagram, at Tika the Aussie.